everyone welcome back to my channel it's so nice to have you on my space again um, thank you for joining me for this video if you clicked on this video obviously you know that a lot of sicknesses have been going around and you need to keep yourself healthy so if you don't know who I am my name is Ariana I am a holistic health coach and I work with healing the mind body and spirit Holistically, that just means in every aspect. Um, I try and take an integrative approach when talking about health. So I, my first thing is not to go to um, traditional medicines provided by a doctor or something that you see in a pharmacy, and I try and heal myself naturally as best as I can. You know, sometimes people do need something that is prescribed, but um, I try and not use that as my first go-to. So, in today's video, I am going to be sharing some products that I use myself um, to keep myself healthy. I have not gotten sick, well, I'm going to say, knock on wood, I have not gotten sick in a very long time. Um, I have actually been doing pretty well with my health, um, so I am here to share some of these things with you. We are in a society that is post-pandemic, so it is very important to keep your immune system, you know, in top condition to keep yourself healthy and to limit your chances of getting sick um, because sickness these days can be very, can be very deadly um, to say the least. So I'm going to be sharing some of the things that I use personally because I feel like I haven't gotten sick. Um, in a very long time. So I'm going to be sharing some of the things that I use. So let's get into it. The first thing I'm going to say is to hydrate yourself. That one is very, very easy. Um, if you don't like the taste of water, which I was that person when I was younger, I did not like the taste of water. Um, now I do like the taste of water, um, but you could always add some lemon into it or um, a mix-in if you like. Just don't overdo it with the mix-ins because they can add a lot of sugar into your diet. Um, and if you have problems with your blood sugar, that could definitely spike it, which wouldn't be good for you. But you could add um, some lemon into it to add a bit of flavor. Or if you do like the taste of water and you don't actually mind it, just try and stay on top of your hydration. Hydrating yourself is one of the easiest ways to, you know, keep yourself healthy because it keeps things moving. It is a natural detoxifying thing. Um, so that is one of the easiest ways that you can keep yourself healthy. The next thing I'm going to suggest is ginger. Um, if you do have heartburn or if you're a person that suffers from like reflux and stuff, this might be not the best thing for you just because it might add more heat to your body but ginger is a good way to help with your immune system heat really kicks up um, your body's response uh, to keep you healthy so it's a great way to just sometimes I just take it in a shot I take a wellness shot of ginger um, I have ginger tea so ginger and lemon those are very healing things to the body keeping yourself healthy it's very easy, you don't need much, and if you can afford to get the wellness shots, then that's also a very convenient way because you wouldn't have to spend time prepping your own ginger shots. Um, I know that not everybody has the, you know, the accessibility to get to a ginger shot or even just a wellness shot, like immune support shot. So there are different ways that you could do it. You could just get yourself a little box of ginger and lemon tea and that would definitely help if you're feeling under the weather. If you even start to feel like that little tickle in your throat, it's definitely a great way to kick that whatever is starting to brew out of your system. So lately I have been um, dabbling with echinacea and elderberry. You might have heard of elderberry because it's actually become very popular. Um, I give elderberry to my children. Um, and I take elderberry myself. I have this little spray that's a mix of elderberry and um, echinacea and I just spray it onto my mouth um, about seven times a day 
and I'm going to put the little picture right here and I'm also going to link it down below that I feel like has really really helped me like fight off any viruses any sicknesses that are trying to like come into my body because I just constantly take that I also have gummies which I will put here too I I also take gummies elderberry gummies and that is also a great way to boost your immune system it's just a natural way that it's naturally occurring in nature the things that you want to watch out for are highly processed products though um, because obviously you don't want added things that might make you sick in a different way that's not a virus but definitely I would recommend echinacea and elderberry there's also a tea from the brand Puka I think that I'm saying it correctly so Puka has different kinds of teas as well those are wellness teas so great I also have a ginger one um, I'm gonna put that one here too and everything is gonna be linked down below those are some things that I've been doing and I feel like they really really make a difference in my health because I'm you know I'm taking the natural stuff like immune boosting vitamin C and everything like that which is also another thing that can help you so vitamin C I'm sure everybody has heard this vitamin C is one of the best ways to boost your immune system and it really is so you can either take a supplement or you can find it in foods so bell peppers actually have a higher um, vitamin C count than oranges if you did not know that they do um, so bell peppers oranges um, citrus fruits strawberries things like that um, even tomatoes they have vitamin C in them so cook up a meal you're definitely going to be getting some great nutrients from it that will combat any sicknesses or viruses that your body may encounter so another thing that can help you with your immune system is exercising and it just depends on what kind of exercise is good for you and for your body maybe you like a hit workout or you like to do yoga pilates um, swimming things like that can all really help and be beneficial to your immune system because it gets the cells that help fight off any bacteria or viruses it gets those cells moving around your body and circulating and they are actually present and the highest after a workout so that really elevates you know that protection in your body and it fights off your chances of getting um sick the last thing that i want to cover is sleep and sleep is also a very very easy thing to do um, if you are a person that suffers with insomnia though I can make another video on how to help you have a better night's rest but right now I'm going to just talk about how sleep can improve your immunity so sleep is a great and easy way to fight off any bacteria or any viruses that you have because your body is resting and it's recuperating you just want to make sure that you're getting enough sleep so that your body has time to heal itself and repair anything that um, has gone on during the day that might hinder your immune system so that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed and you guys learned something from it it was a very quick video but I definitely wanted to show you guys some easy ways and some ways that I use to um, combat you know viruses and especially everything that's going on in today's world so if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you guys aren't already subscribed subscribe down below i'm going to be posting more videos and helpful tips for you guys so stay tuned i'll see you guys in my next video bye